And on the progression of the cold goes. Today it's been in the uh, in the lungs. Uh, still having s some issues, but they're the leftovers of the sinus part. Anyway, yesterday I went to a free meal um, over at a mission on uh, what is it, Second and C Street. I think it's a little odd. Maybe it's maybe it's B Street, Second and B, whatever around that area. <clears throat> and uh, man, I I always knew that homeless, the homeless population has a lot more usage of cigarettes, but I didn't think it was quite to this extreme. It was just I. If I if I look at my memory, if I look at what I saw, you know, um, for that specific case, I'd say one out of every three people, one out of every three to two out of every three, between somewhere between that, uh, is how much how many people uh, smoke in that particular population, that particular instance. I'm not going to try to say that's what it is uh, otherwise, although I have read statistics that put uh, it above 70%, but I thought it was, uh, I thought it was fascinating and also very sad. And, you know, you got to wait outside for a while in this, this area that they have sectioned off where one out of every three people to two out of every three people are smoking. And, and then, um, which if I go again, I'm going to find out if I can hang out in the building right before it, this area that you have to walk through, I want to find out whether I can hang out there during the waiting period so I don't have to be around the cigarettes, and we'll see how they feel about that. Um, but, uh, so then, you know, they, they they let everyone into the into the other the other building, and uh, and now it's time to listen to a, a pastor go on their little thing. And in this case, it was kind of funny. They showed a uh, they showed some nature video first, and tried to go on about how. Uh, what, what kind of fish is it? It's a, it's, I can't remember the, the name of the fish now, but it's a kind where they will do a torpedo of water at an insect and then catch the insect. Um, I forgot what the name of the fish is. Anyway, they were saying, well, that's just too amazing to be something that would, you know, uh, came out of something like evolution. And, uh, you know, it's like, oh, okay. And, uh, and there was one point where he went on about, uh, and, and he wanted people to, to say something. <laughs> and he first, you know, tried to go on about how Jesus was, uh, was never violent. He was never, you know, all these things. And all I could think to myself is the, the past, the, where, I can't remember what part of the Bible it's in, but I remember, other than the New Testament, um, where there was a, there was a church where people were selling goods and knickknacks and, you know, just peddling their stuff in the church, and uh, Jesus got pissed off and and started, you know, uh, violently toppling them and such. Right? And uh, I thought about just when he when he goes, uh, yeah, Jesus was 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 never violent, right? And I had <laughs> I I wonder if they, they would have kicked me out for saying something uh, against that. I don't know. I don't know what the actual mentality about that is. Actually, I think he probably would have enjoyed it because there, there'd at least be some interaction instead of him just, you know, day after day uh, preaching to people who probably aren't listening. Um, and what was really just, just hit me so hard is when, when they... Uh, well, I, I want to finish something because I want to talk about the religion part of it. It's like there is a certain kind of hope, I guess, that uh, religion can do, but I think it does just about as much good as a cigarette does. 
hey, let's give them a sermon. Let's give them a cigarette. Anyway, well, the thing that, that hit me so, so hard after, you know, it was, okay, they, they've finally this prayer. And as soon as the word amen was said, it was almost, it, it was unreal. <clears throat> You know, I, I, I wish there was a way to, I mean, I'm not about to, to record something like that there. I wouldn't be right, but just if you were able to see it, it just as soon as they said amen, it could have been a, a, the crack of a whip and everyone just goes to, to the wall lined up for the food. Amen. It was just like something I'd never seen. You, you should, you, you'd never picture people moving that fast and that orderly. Um... <laughs> it just just blew my mind seeing that, and uh, <laughs> amen, <laughs> crack of a whip. Um, <laughs> but uh, and my whole reason for even being you know being there is uh, this month I'm struggling a bit because I had to pay for the. Uh, I still have, uh, I, I had to pay for the title transfer for, for the vehicle, you know, to, trans, to transfer from Pennsylvania to here. Um, my driver's license, new driver's license, if it finally came in the mail on Friday, yay. Um, and just some other things that, that are involved when you first go to a different state. Um, one thing I really need to get uh, established is the... Uh, Making sure I still have the, the bag to my medication. I need to establish a uh, a psychiatrist of sorts somehow. I need to figure that out. It's the most important thing, so I can keep taking my medication. And uh, if I can't, if I can't establish that very soon, I'd probably have to uh, start cutting my uh, my medication. You know, physically cutting them in half and. Uh, just at least trying to string it along as long as I can, so because I do think it helps a lot, um, a lot. I uh, I don't have such extreme, excessive expectations on everything, mostly myself. Um, I'm not as perfectionistic, um, and in certain situations, you know, stuff comes up, I'm less, I guess you could call it tantrumy when I'm on it. It, it just, it, it has generally helped me. Um, and then of course the, the most obvious one is it, it gets rid of the panic, but there's so many things that end up causing the panic, that's why when I take something just for panic, well, it, it doesn't work as well as it should, and it's something that's considered extremely addictive. Any of the uh, uh, the PAMs, the ones that end in PAM, very, very, very addictive and sometimes even deadly to come off, although I could probably say the same thing about the olanzapine. But... Uh, I do need to. I do need to establish that. <clears throat> but man, yeah, the 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 amount of homeless that smoke. It's the same thing that if you go to a. Uh, if you go to any sort of twelve step thing too, you know, like like NA. Go to NA. And I swear the the. A, yeah, I'd say that about the same, about the same amount of people at those smoke cigarettes as the homeless population. You know, like I said, there are some stats that put it up at around you know above seventy percent. Um, just <laughs> it's it's weird. It's it's strange how. 
tobacco isn't viewed as a drug. The, the nicot nicotine isn't viewed as an actual drug. Uh, cigarettes aren't viewed as an actual drug. Uh, I mean, when people can't go by 10 minutes without having a cigarette, it's just like, holy shit. Do you realize how, how addicted that is? Holy crap. You know, that's that's bad. I'm sorry. That's really bad. Um Oh, but it's cigarettes. Disappointing thing here where I'm staying. There are uh, there are those that are smoking in the common areas, and it's very very annoying. But I know that this is a temporary, so it's fine. It's certainly better than uh, being homeless. So, how long is this now? Eleven minutes. Well. We'll see if it's a, a feasible video to upload or not. See how big the file is.